Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. If you're new here, today we're gonna be doing my updated makeup routine. I know it's been a long time coming, okay? But you waited long enough and your girl is here with it. So if you wanna see how I achieve this beautiful look, keep on watching and yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. If you're new here, today we're gonna be doing a updated makeup routine. I know it's been so long since we've done a beauty focused sit down video. So I owe you guys. Y'all be eating me up every time I post a video. Y'all like, what a makeup though. What a makeup though. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoy today's updated makeup routine. Let's go ahead and get into it. I picked up some stuff from Sephora, as you can see. And I wanna show you guys what I got. If my setup is not the best, it's because I moved a few months ago and I haven't really got like a sit down setup for like my videos just yet. So just bear with me. If there's an echo, it's because I have not, I don't have a lot of furniture in here yet, okay? But hopefully you guys still enjoy the vibes. Using the Summer Fridays, this is the pink um, sugar lip balm. I'll be sure to link it for you guys down below. It's all about skin prep when it comes to doing your makeup. So I'm gonna be going in with the L Octane Emulsion Enrich. Um, this is like a serum, and I like to apply this before before I start on my makeup, just so you can have a nice smooth base. I've already washed my hands, my face, everything was already clean and prepped and ready to get started. Um, so first I'm gonna go in with my Yummy Skin Tint. I picked this up today, so hopefully it is the right shade. This is in the shade 11. So let's hope, girl, that this is, this is the right one, okay? Because I tried it on in the store, but we all know, like if you try stuff on inside the store, it may not be the same once you like get home and actually sit with it. So yeah, I got the shade 11 um, because I wanted to go for like a more of a bronzy look. Um, it is a little dark so far, but I'm gonna hold the face because um, once I put on my concealers and stuff, it may like even out. But right now, the initial wear, I feel like it's a little bit on the brown side. I may have, I could have went with um, tan or I also could have mixed them. I said, I think this is more for like, this shade is more if I have a tan. Um, but let's see, I'm gonna see if I like it. Up next, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Born This Way Sculpt Concealer, but I'm also gonna mix it with NARS because I picked that up as well today. That I'm gonna be using is in Cafe Con Leche. And this is a little bit brighter, so I love like a more brighter under eye lately. I feel like it just sets the tone for your makeup and it just makes it like super cute. So I'm gonna go in with Warm Beige first by Born This Way, by Too Faced, Born This Way. And I've also been doing my brows last lately. Are you more of a brows first girl or brows last? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and use the NARS Creamy Radiant. I did get the small one. Um, lately I've been into more like travel size products because if I'm traveling, I don't have to worry about like, you know, losing my big stuff. And then also it's just like more convenient. So, and it's affordable baby. Let's talk about it. $15, I'd rather spend that than 30. But anyways, um, I'm going on top with that NARS. I'm also gonna put it on the sides of my eyes. For contour today, I'm gonna take my Dior Forever Skin uh, Correct Concealer, and this is in the shade 6N Neutral. So let's pray that this is the right shade for me. I swatched it in the store, and it looks like it would be like perfect, but it's more of a warm tone. I love like warm tone bronzers, and I'm actually using this for my bronzing shade today. So let's pray that this works, because otherwise I'm taking it. Okay, yeah, she's gonna work. And you don't need much. As you can see, like I did a little bit too much on the forehead. You really don't need much because I didn't really, I forgot how creamy this was. Cause I used to use this as like my um, brightening shade. And I can't remember the exact one that I used to use, but this, this is really good stuff. Love this product. It's been important for me to just let my concealer just dry down first so that I can get that full coverage effect. Um, if you're not more of a full coverage girl, then you can actually just skip that step, but that's what I like to do. So I'm just taking that bronzer and just blending everything out. Um, 
and yeah, just blending everything out into this. Definitely giving like bronze beauty for sure. I think so far so good. Looking good. With just this real techniques brush, it's very much so dirty. If you've been if you've been watching me since day one, I've always had a hard time like cleaning my brushes. Not had a hard time. I'm just late. I'm gonna take that and blend out my concealer. But yeah, you guys, skin tints for the summer are like a win. You can breathe. Your face can actually breathe versus everything that's being so, so heavy on the face, like a foundation. For winter, I do lean more to foundations, but for summer, honey, I know summer is almost over. It's almost fall, but y'all get me. And by the way, this brush that I'm using is the Morphe, it's the Morphe M173 brush. And I'm just using this to kind of like go tighter up against my eyes so we can get that nice cut. Um, and it can be a little bit more precise. Quick makeup tip, if you have trouble with creasing or anything like that, it's honestly best to do one eye at a time and then set and go from there. Because that way you won't be creasing while you're trying to blend out your product. Next, I'm gonna be contouring my nose with the same shade in the, same, in the shade 6N. I'm just gonna place a little bit on the back of my hand so that we can have like more control over the product versus like going straight in with the product to my face. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm using, this is a very old brush, you guys. I don't even think I have the number on it anymore. So just use like whatever type of um, rounded brush that you have. This is how it's shaped. I'm gonna try to get you guys to see. This is the shape of the brush. It's very rounded. Um, and I'm just gonna use that to go in and contour my nose. And I love to bring my nose contour up into my brow. Like this technique gives you more of a snatched look. And it just makes your eyebrow and your nose like connect perfectly when you do that. So just keep that in mind, like if you like a contoured nose, to so kind of drag the product into your brow and also across the lid. That's what I like to do whenever I'm doing like a natural glam. I am gonna add just a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes because I feel like it just, from what I'm seeing, I know you guys may not be able to see exactly, but it needs just a little bit more concealer right here. And I'm just touching that up. I'm gonna let it dry down first and then I'm gonna blend everything out. I'm gonna be taking my Patrick Ta palette. If you haven't tried his palettes for blushes, try them out. Also, Julia's Place has really good brushes, blushes as well. Um, so I'm taking the shade She's a Doll. No, she's vibing. That's the shade that I have. And I'm going in with the cream first. As you can see, she's very much so vibrant. And I'm just taking it up into the sides of my face towards my eyes so that it can give like that eyeshadow effect as well. I'm gonna blend out that under eye concealer that we added, but I, I still be making ugly faces when I blend out my concealer. <laughs> and when I put on mascara. Comment below if you do the same, girl, cause when I tell you it'll be a struggle, it be a struggle. Go in with my One Size Beauty. Uh, this is in the shade Translucent, and I'm just gonna use this to set underneath my eyes. Typically, I do use a powder puff. I can't find one to save my life, y'all. That's insane. But we're gonna have to do what we're gonna have to do. Use our resources. So I'm just taking that, um, that brush one more time and just blending out just so that we won't have any excess like lines or anything like that and i'm just gonna go ahead and start setting underneath my eye hey guys i'm gonna go in and set with a face powder first underneath my eyes just so that i won't have like any additional creasing that is a major tip because sometimes you can still have creasing when you set underneath your eyes with the powder so i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury powder this one is a little bit brighter but i wanted to give that brighter under eye effect so then so i'm just taking the number two and i'm just setting underneath my eyes and that is all i'm using this powder for it's just to set underneath the eye using my translucent setting powder. Um, I'm also gonna link the powder puffs that I get off of Amazon. They are really, really good. I don't recommend using a beauty sponge, but that's all I have next to me right now. So I'm gonna go in on the back of my hand, dab all of that excess powder off, or you can blow it off. And then this is where you set with your setting powder. And this is gonna help your eyes to not crease and just have all that like, you know, extra oiliness. So that's just what I'm doing here above my brows because I also have like so much oil <laughs> where my brows are. So or if they even like have this because every time I go into Ulta, I don't see it. 
So, um, but you can use whatever contour palette that you prefer. Um, and then there are also tons of other options if you wanna spend a cute little coin. But um, highly recommend the Black Radiance palette if you're looking for something that's on the more affordable end. But I'm just taking that powder and I'm just going in and contouring like powder contouring those shades. I'm also gonna go in with my Studio Mac powder in NC50. And this is just gonna be like just an all around setting setting powder for my face. You don't have to go in with this stuff, especially being that it's a like lighter makeup type of vibe. But I just wanna show you guys this just in case you don't have like the coverage that you're needing. This is gonna bring it all together. And it still gives you like that foundation look um, without like having the heavy foundation on it, that makes sense. So now it's time for brows. Our brows and brows are like the, the theme for the face. It's gonna snatch the face together. So let me tell you what I've been using for my brows that I have been loving. Lately I have been using, well of course, you guys know I have been a Benefit Brow Girl for the longest. This is like an OG product, okay? But I'm going in with the Benefit Brow Pomade. Um, you can use the pomade or you can use the actual like pencil. I'm feeling the pomade kind of vibe. I'm just gonna take that and I'm using a very old MAC brush. This is like a OG, what is this? It says praying on the end. I'm not sure, oh, it's a, this is a MAC 200 brush. I don't even know if they carry this anymore. This is like a very old brush. I'm talking college. And I graduated college in 2018. Brow product. I can't talk, I'm sorry y'all. You guys know how to do your brows, I'm sure. So I'm gonna clean up the brows and I'll be right back. And I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss, um, and then I'm also going in with the Sephora Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Sleek. Warm Peach. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's definitely giving like peachy vibes. And then I'm just going on top with the Sleek Lip Gloss from Sephora. So that's pretty much it for my updated makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.